Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. When the West was young, the rather elastic laws of the frontier attracted many colorful and slightly disreputable characters. Among them was Barnaby Boggs, rainmaker and medicine man. He plied these dubious trades with varying degrees of success until the Lone Ranger persuaded him to reform and buy a small ranch. However, Barnaby found it difficult to settle down. And when he learned of an opportunity for a more interesting career, he sold his ranch, stocked his wagon, and set out for the town of Larrabee. Clementine! Adelaide! Enough for this dawdling! Come on, girls! We'll never reach town at this rate! There were men who hoped Barnaby Boggs would never reach Larrabee. Is this indifferent performance a fitting return for the care I've lavished on you all these years? Taro, look. It's going to be Boggs. His horse has run away. But I didn't mean what I said. Hold on. Whoa! Take it easy. Slow down. I didn't mean what I said. I'm sorry. Slow down. heaven you came along. What are you trying to do, Barnaby? Kill yourself? Oh, these ungrateful beasts resented some remarks I made. I thought you'd given up your medicine show. Please. I'm now a man of business. I'm opening a store in Larrabee. What? Yeah, the daughter of an old friend offered me a partnership. Oh, Marv Gorham's daughter. Why, yes. Do you know her? Her father died when the store catch on fire. A tragic accident. Ellie was left without the means or the experience to carry on. She wrote me offering me a partnership if I'd help restock the store. I admire your courage, Barnaby. Well, thanks. I, I thought you would. Uh, my what? Uh, you not know Will Mutter? Well, I've heard of him. He owns the Larrabee Emporium, but I don't Before see... Before Gorham came to town, two other men tried to open stores in competition with Mutter. They also met with accidents. Oh, no. This runaway could have been accidental, but I don't believe that it was. Look, that horse was hit hard with something. What do you mean? It probably means your runaway was caused by somebody who wants to get rid of you. In that case, I'll turn around and... Where you go? Unfinished business at the ranch. Very important. Wait. Mater has a monopoly that permits him to sell things for double or triple their fair price. Ellie must reopen her father's store in order to give Mater competition. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Are you going to let that girl fight that man by herself? Well, no, but... Confound it, why do I always get mixed up in these things? We'll try to protect you. You try? You not be sorry. I'm sorry already. Well, what else do you want me to do besides get myself murdered? Drive on into Larrabee as you plan. Tonto will go with you. Where you go, Kimisemi? I'll backtrack the wagon. If somebody started that runaway, perhaps I can pick up his trail. I'll meet you later back at camp, Tonto. Every time I meet that fellow, it spells trouble. And plenty of it. Good luck, Barnaby. Good luck, he says. He smooth talks me into risking my neck and then wishes me good luck. Huh. Oh. Well, here we are, Tonto. The home of Boggs and Gorham Incorporated. 
place look all right. Well, Ellie wrote me that she'd repaired most of the damage caused by the fire. Let's take a look inside. Oh, Barnaby, you're here. <laughs> of course I'm here. You didn't think I'd let you down, did you? Oh, you're wonderful. Did you bring the stock for the... Oh, dear, I've gotten paint all over your coat. I've been painting the oh, store. Oh, perfectly all right, my dear. I just happened to have in the wagon a few bottles left of Bob's Elixir of Youth. Keeps one young and healthy. And it also removes pain. <laughs> oh, Ellie, I want you to meet an old friend of mine. Tonto, this is Ellie Gorham. I'm glad to know you, Tonto. How are you? Well, did you bring the stock for the star, Barnaby? I sold the ranch for 4000 and every cent of it's invested in the stock that's in that wagon. We'll have the finest store west of Dodge City. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, Modder hasn't done a lick of business ever since I announced our opening. Modder? Well, where is his establishment? Right across the street. The old skin flint's probably spying on us right now. Then by all means, let's go inside. It's not safe to leave Wagon here alone. Better unload. Oh, but there's wet paint all over the shelves and cupboards. We'll have to wait till tomorrow to unload. Now, me drive Wagon behind store. It's easy to guard back there. That's a good idea, Tonto. Come on, Ellie. I don't like standing out here in the open. Feels like somebody's watching me. Across the street, somebody was watching. Oh, that idiot. That stupid, bungling idiot. I ought to wring his neck. Hey, boss. Look across the street, you bungling idiot. Look, it wasn't my fault. You can't stage a simple runaway without fouling things up. Everything was going as planned until a masked man and an Indian rode in and stopped the horses. Masked man and Indian? Yeah. Was the Indian riding a paint? Yeah, and then he rode into town with bogs. I see. We've got to arrange another accident. Well, you got any ideas? Yes. That saddle bum that was in here yesterday looking for a handout. What's his name? He called himself um, Gig Austin. Get him. Bring him around the back way. All right. Our friends are going out of business permanently this time. After driving the wagon behind Ellie Gorham's store, Tonto left Barnaby on guard and rode for the ranger's camp. How's everything in town, Tonto? Good. You find trail of man who start run away? Whoever it was hid near the rocks by the road, but they cover their tracks too well. Isn't that bad news? Yes. A monopoly like Modder enjoys stifles free enterprise. We must make sure that Barnaby and Ellie open their store. The store not ready. Not ready? A girl just paints store. Them not unload wagon till paint dry. Where's the wagon now? Behind store. Barnaby stand guard, but me promise to come back after talk with you. Well, Barnaby isn't a very reliable guard. We'd better hurry. I want to make sure we understand each other, Gig. I'm paying you for this one job. When it's over, you leave town. That's all right by me. Good. I want that wagon blown off the map. There's just one thing. What's that? Suppose something goes wrong. Suppose I end up in jail. Well, why should anything go wrong? Well, it might. All right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll pay you ten bucks a day for every day you spend in jail. You got yourself a deal. Good. Here, cover that powder up with this. Go out the back way. You're crazy for trusting that guy. Why? He's going to leave town as soon as I pay him off. Nobody will ever see him again. Unless they dig for his body in the Badlands. your brains out. Get out. Drop that thing. But that's blasting powder. I told you to shut up. But it's going to blow up. And you're going with it. Keep back. Keep back. You all right, Barnaby? Blasting powder. It's going to explode. Hurry. Stay back, Tonto. He made it. For a minute, I thought he was going to... <sighs> Is he hurt? Him just faint. Well, take care of him. I'm going after that man. Come on. 
Come on, Silver. On your feet. Why did you try to blow up Barnaby's wagon? What's it to you? I'm asking the questions. Did Motter hire you? And if you won't talk to me, maybe you'll talk to the law. Maybe the law would be curious about that mask. Get going. There. You feel any better? Oh, I think so. Here come Kima Sabi. I told you he'd get him. You unmitigated scoundrel! If it weren't that I were a peace-loving man, I'd tear you limb from limb. Well, let the sheriff take care of him, Barnaby. Has Tano told you of our suspicions concerning Mater? Yes, but I, I just can't believe that Father was murdered. Well, this attempt to destroy your wagon should convince you. You're not pinning any killing on me. If you're innocent of murder, you'll have a chance to prove it. You'd better come with us, Barnaby. We'll go the back way to avoid attracting attention. Gladly. All right, come on. Keep your eye on things, Tonto. I may do. Don't get any ideas, mister. Hey, Marder. What is it, Barney? You know that masked man I told you about? Yeah. Well, he's taking Gig to the sheriff's office. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? Don't you understand if Gig talks, we're ruined? Oh, but he won't talk. That tramp hasn't made ten bucks a day in his whole life. What's ten bucks got to do with it? That's what I agreed to pay him if he went to jail. Yeah, that's right. The poor fool's probably hoping for a nice long sentence. <laughs> Motter was right. At Sheriff Dunn's office, after Barnaby had reassured the lawman about his friend's mask, they questioned Gig Austin a long time, but he stubbornly refused to admit anything. That's a lie. Nobody hired me. I don't even know Will Motter. Well, I guess it's no use. Maybe you'll be more reasonable after you've cooled off in a cell. Come on. Well, we seem to have drawn a blank. What do we do next? Well, I don't think Will Motter will give up just because one of his men has been caught. He'll try again. That's what I'm afraid of. If we bring Free Enterprise back to Larrabee, it'll be worth the risk. Barnaby, you're going to open your store on schedule. I just hope I live that long. By the end of the week, thanks to help from the Lone Ranger and Tonto, the firm of Boggs and Gorham was ready to open its doors to the public. The store had been guarded day and night, Barnaby sleeping in the storeroom, and either the Lone Ranger or Tonto secretly on watch outside, where they could observe, but not be seen. Barnaby, it's just perfect. I just can't believe that tomorrow's our grand opening. Well, I won't be here to see it if I don't get some sleep. I'm going to rig up my burglar alarm and go to bed. It is late. I'll see you home. Oh, you don't have to bother. I'd feel better if I know you're safe. You still think Motter may try something? Perhaps. Me stand guard outside till you come back. Good. Good night, Tonto, Barnaby. Good night. What you do? Well, that's my burglar alarm. You see, I put a bunch of tin cans over there and a bunch of tin cans here. I tie a string there and I run the string over to here, stretch the string tight. When anybody comes through the door, boom, it wakes me up. Better you stay awake. Evidently, you don't think much of my burglar alarm. Nice going, Barney. You set him up for me. I couldn't miss. Come on. Uh, it's locked. Try the window.
who's there. Give me your knife. Grab him when he comes out. Back of the barrel. Who's there? Come out. I've got you covered. Come out or I'll come after you. That was too close. Oh, just stand there. We've got to work fast. Take this coal oil. Give me some of that. When this oil catches fire, this place will warp like gunpowder. Stars on fire. You get him off just in time, Kimasami. He must have been overcome by smoke before he could call for help. Get a doctor, Tarno. He's been seriously hurt. Ah. Where, where am I? What? You're at Ellie's house. The doctor just left. You're going to be all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember now. The fire. Tell me, did you save the store? No, I'm sorry, Barnaby. Oh. Every cent that Ellie and I had... Burned up. What are we going to do? Save your strength, fella. Can you tell us what happened? Well, there were two of them. I had my gun, but they jumped me. Did you recognize them? No, it was too dark. But one of them must have been Mater. I couldn't see. The murder and coyotes done it again. We can't prove a thing. Maybe we can. You have proof? Not yet, but if the sheriff will cooperate, we have a chance. I'll do anything you say, mister. Spread the word around town that Barnaby is still unconscious. That he'll name the man who knifed him as soon as he's able to talk. I see what you mean. If we frighten Mater enough, he may try something desperate. They say Boggs will be conscious by morning. What are we going to do? He's at the Gorham place. Huh? Yeah, and there's a chance that he saw one of us. That's why you're going out to the Gorham place and make sure he doesn't regain his consciousness. Well, now, wait a minute, boss. You're loco. They're probably watching him like a hawk. I'll pay a call at the same time. While I'm talking to them in the living room, you sneak through the bedroom window. That's awful risky. A hanging is a lot riskier. Come on. Your hunch was right. He's coming up the path now. Good. Now you know what you're to do. Yes. Oh, it's you. I understand you think I had something to do with that fire tonight. Raise your hands. Get his gun, Ellie. What's the idea? We think you did have something to do with the fire. Now head for the bedroom. It's outrageous. The mask outlaw. You... That's enough. Him walk right in the trap? Yes. Lie down on that bed. The bed? Does that frighten you? Go on. What are you going to do with me? We're going to tie you. Why, it's an outrage. I demand an explanation. Until we moved him to safety, Barnaby Boggs occupied this bed. You're taking his place. I refuse to allow you to do this to me. Hold still. Why so alarmed, Mr. Motter? You'll be as safe here as Barnaby would have been. But you can't force me into this. No legal right, perhaps, but we hope to achieve a certain poetic justice. Cover him up, Tonto. 
Turn out the lamp, Ellie. We don't want the light to disturb his sleep. Come on, Tonto. All right, Ellie. Rest well, Mr. Mutter. No, wait. Don't... Don't make a sound, Barney. I'll just borrow these. Take care of them, boys. Barney, go away. It's me, Mutter. Don't you understand? Our plan is going wrong. I'm Mutter, not Bugs. No, stop. Help! Help! He's trying to kill me! He's got a knife! Don't let him! I have a knife. But I wasn't going to use it. How did you know that Varney was coming here to kill Boggs? I didn't know. You called the sheriff Varney. You spoke of a plan. It's no use, Mutter. You've said enough to convict yourself of arson and attempted murder. My men have Varney outside. Perhaps after he's talked, we can make more serious charges. Come on. Hello, Ellie. How's Barnaby getting along? Why don't you ask him yourself? Hello, Sheriff. Nice of you to call. What's the news? Well, both Austin and Varney have confessed. Mater will have a hard time escaping justice this time. That's great. What's more, he'll have to pay for all the damage he's done. The store. That means we'll be able to reopen after all. That's right. Say, we'll have the monopoly now. We'll be able to charge as much as we want to. We'll do no such thing, Barnaby Boggs. We're going to give people fair value. We are? We are. <laughs> well, I guess that's about all. Only you never did tell me much about your masked friend. He's the one we should thank. He's more than just my friend. He's a friend to all honest folks needing help. You see, Sheriff, he's the Lone Ranger. Oh, Tim! 